In this video, I want to go over a piece of software that will gather information on your system and display it within multiple tabs so that you can understand what's in your system. Now, someone not long ago asked me uh, through one of my videos on YouTube within a message, is there any program like CPUZ for Linux users? Now, as there's actually a few, and I'm going to focus on one called CPUX. But before we do, let's take a look at what CPUZ is and how it looks like what the Linux version of CPUX. CPUZ is a system information software. It's for Windows users and Android users. And here's a little brief description. It's freeware, so if you're on a Windows, it doesn't cost anything to download and install. Uh, CPUZ. It gives you information about the name and number of your processor, the code names, process, package, and cache levels. It gives you information about your main board, your chipset, it gives you information about your memory type, size, timings, and module specifications, which is your SPD. It gives you real time measurements on the cores, internal frequency, and memory frequency. And let me go ahead and close this tab. And here's what it looks like CPUZ. You got your CPU, cache, main board, your memory, your SPD, your graphics, benchmarks, and the about. And if you look over here on CPUX, and this is me already have it pre-installed on this laptop. Now, this laptop used to have 18.04 along with my other laptop and my desktop system. But since it's April and there's going to soon be another long-term support out, uh, I decided to upgrade to 19.10 so I can practice with some software installing it on here and then later when I install the newest long-term support on here this is kind of my test laptop so I test things out on this before I put it on my bigger and newer laptop and my desktop system so as you can see here this is very similar it has the CPU tab the cache mainboard memory and you can hit a little arrow and move over to see additional tabs but so the CPU reports information about the processor which is the CPU, the main board or the motherboard, the memory, the systems, the graphics card, and performance. Now this is not a great graphics card. This is an old, old laptop that I'm working with. Now the installation, you need to know what type of Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivative that you're installing it. You just can't copy this PPA update and install the program by the terminal in an older version of Ubuntu or the Ubuntu derivatives. So on my older stable systems of Ubuntu 18.04, I can't install it this way and I can't download the dev package and install it on those systems as well. What I have to do is I have to download this version for anything Ubuntu 18.10 or older. Now once you download or click on that link it will start downloading and when it downloads it will go to the download folder or wherever you have it set and that's the CPUX version 3.2.4 Ubuntu and it's the tar file which means it's compressed or zipped up and that's the same file here or you can click it there it's just two different locations you can download now once you've downloaded this I'm going to show you how to install it on an 18.10 or older I'm not going to actually install it this way but I'll go through the process I do have images here showing you what to do so that you don't have to rewatch this video if you're installing it for an older system once that you have your tar file downloaded you right click on it choose extract here and it will extract that folder that you see here uncompressed. Now if your system don't have uh, a file utility to uncompress it then you can look on my website I do have uncompression or compression tools and uncompression tools that you can install on your system that allow you to do that. You go into that folder and you look for the type of Ubuntu. Since the program is called CPUX this is the X for CPUX you can install Ubuntu 16.04, Ubuntu 17.10, Ubuntu 18.04, and that's the long-term support, or Ubuntu 18.10. In this case, if I'm using my long-term support, I would double-click this folder, and then since it's 64-bit, I would double-click this. Now, here are four deb files. These are the dependencies that it needs. That file, this file, and this file are the dependencies. Normally when you double click a file it will download the dependencies it needs and then install the program. For this particular file it doesn't do that. If you double click on this it would come up with an error message if I was on an 18.04 system. So you need to install this file first. You just double click onto it and choose the install. Now let me double click onto it. It, it probably will come up with a red error message or something. It says the later version is available. It says install package or download packages. All dependencies are dissatisfied. I've already have the program installed on my system. As you can see here, CPUX and CPUX root. This is an older version, but if I want to install an older version, if it would, I'm not sure if it would, I'd hit install package. Wait till it says same version installed. 
and change to reinstall, download, or remove. So once I get that de dependency or that file installed, I'm going to jump all of these to the end one. Then I would double click this particular file. Now remember, I'm on an older 18.04 system. You click install on this one, wait till it finishes, and then close it out. And then this one, when I installed it on my 18.04, I already had this one on the system. Now you can see this is for a later version, an older version. I already have a later version installed on my system. That's why the error is coming up. If you're using 18.04, it may say this file is already installed and it won't let you install it. And if it's not installed, just install this package on your system. Once that you got that file, that file, and that file installed on your system, you're then ready to double click the CPUX file. Now this is because I'm using a newer version. This is the old version. See, it says a later version is already installed on your system. But in your case, if you're using 18.04, you'll see the install button here, install package button. Click on it, wait till it says reinstall, say same version is installed, and then you will have this on your 18.04 long-term support system. Now here's the files for the other ones. Once you finish, you can delete those folders. And if you like to keep the installation file, then you can delete the folders for the programs that you don't have or the operating systems you don't have. Since this is newer than what I have here, I am going to delete that folder. And actually, I'm going to delete that file and then I'm going to empty my recycle bin. Now let me go and show you how to install it if you're using 19.10 or newer. If you're, or I mean, I'm sorry, 19.04 or newer. If you're using 19.04 or newer, and I have 19.10 on here, and I'll show you, I open up my terminal, and if you don't know what version you're running, you can go up and hit the LSB release space dash D, press the enter or return key, and it shows you that you're using Ubuntu 19.10. And as you can see here, I am using Ubuntu Mate, the Mate desktop 1.22.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my terminal. Now if I was installing this, which I already have it installed, I would just simply copy this command, paste this into my terminal, and then press the enter return key, put in my password, and it will ask you again. You'll probably have to press the enter key again uh, to uh, install the PPA. Then you will, you really don't need, if you're using 19.04 or newer, you really don't need to update because it will automatically do that. But if you want to, just for the sake of you've always done it, then copy and paste the sudo app get update, put that into your terminal, and press the enter or return key. And then finally, you'll just simply copy this command, sudo app get install cpu-x, paste that into your terminal, press the enter or return key, and it may prompt you if you want to install, and it may show you other files that it will install on your system, and allow it to install, and then you can close the terminal. Now, once you get it installed on your system, I have some images. Those are images for if you're installing in the old version. And right here's how to install it by the terminal, so you don't have to rewatch this video. I actually took screenshots as I installed it on this laptop. And then here is my laptop that I'm currently working with. It has the kind of a, a Windows theme icon look with a mixture of icons that I found on the internet. And this one has more of a, a Mac icons look with additional uh, icons that I found on the internet. So this is for my Ubuntu 18.04.4, the long-term support, my desktop system, and this is my old, old laptop that you see that I'm using here. Now this old laptop is using an Intel processor. This, the desktop uses an AMD. If you go through here, this is the Ubuntu 19.10 all the way on the left-hand side. This is the 18.04 on the left-hand side. So you can see images of how the program looks. Now let me actually go and access the program once it's installed. Once it's installed you can go to your system tools and I'm running the Ubuntu Mate with the traditional menu so I go to application system tools. Now there's a CPU X and there's a CPU X root. If you click on that it's going to prompt you to install the administrator password. If you install this one it will prompt you it says root privileges are required for it to work properly. Some information may not be retrieved. If I say ignore that, I can use the get information, but some information won't be displayed because it requires root information. So I can say run as root, and that's just like using the other command. I put my root password in, or the password I use when I'm installing software. I hit authenticate. And in a few moments, it will come up and it will be as a super user. And as you can see here, this looks very similar to CPU Z that's used on Windows machines and Android devices. As you can see here, it's an Intel processor. It shows you the code name, which is how I have a i5 uh, 
Intel Core processor inside of it. It shows the technology, the voltage on the system. As you can see, it's varying. It's giving live updates. I have an Intel Core CPU running at 2.3 gigahertz. There's the family, the model, the temperature that it's running inside of it. Uh, it has a lot of things. It has got your cache data, your clock speeds. And then you can go look at your cache the information about it and you have other tests that you can run here you've got your motherboard information this is a Hewlett Packard laptop it shows the model and it shows the revision it shows you the uh, the BIOS which shows what version it was the date was 2011 for this particular BIOS it's an old old system but it works great with the Ubuntu 19.10 uh, that I'll soon be upgrading to the newest stable version to see if I like it before I decide to upgrade my 18.04 may not upgrade them depends upon if I like it on this system it shows you the chipset vendor along with the model of the chipset it gives you information about your memory this was the actual memory that was in the system and I bought an additional four gigabyte of memory it's 4096 megabytes move the decimal three places it's four gig so it originally came with four gig and I installed another four gig stick so I have a total of eight gigs of memory Here's the system information. It shows you the kernel that's in the system, the distribution, which is 19.10. My host name, that's the name I named it when I installed the, the operating system, is HP ProBook. It shows you that it's been running for 3 hours, 25 minutes, and 21 seconds. It shows you the compiler that's installed, and it gives you more information about your memory, how much you're using, the buffers, cache, what's free, and the swap file size. Last thing, or not last thing, there's a few more. But the next thing is your graphics. Now this is a laptop, an old laptop, so it doesn't have a great graphics card. It's not used for gaming. As you can see, the CPU or GPU, the graphics processor, is 650 megahertz. The model is a second generation core uh, family, processor family of the Intel. Here's some benchmarks, and I'm not going to run them for time's sake, but you can turn them on and run them, and it'll show you a score. You can run the other benchmark, and it'll show you a score, and it shows you your perimeters and threads and here's a little about screen that you can look at shows you about information about the software what version it is and the license for it so this right here is very similar to the CPU Z on Windows and Android devices so if you're curious and looking for something to replace the CPU Z on a Linux system then give CPU X a try and if you don't like CPU X you can go to where it says additional software and click on utility software I have kind of uh, been working on my website where I kind of made a section right here on system information software where you can use the hard info, the INEX, CPU X, which I just showed you, and CPU G. CPU G is very similar. It has a similar look. It shows you how to install it here. Eventually, I may do another video to show you how to use this particular program. But I do have additional system information software that shows you how to install each of these on your system. Now, the INEX. It's very similar to the CPU-Z as well, and it probably gives you the most information of all four of these. However, at the time that I did this web page, someone asked me, how do you install it on version 18.04, the long-term support? So there is quite a few steps. Now, for the newer 19.04, 19.10, or newer, you can probably just install it by the command line. And if you can, I will later one day update a video showing you how to install INEX on the newer operating systems. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.